Uh, hi, everybody. I think all of you in this room know me. For those of you who are joining us remotely and you don't know me, uh, my name is Matt Phoenix. I lead the business for Impetus in the East. Um, I have the honor and the privilege today of uh, sharing the stage with uh, my good friend, Dennis Reed, uh, with Brentwood Industries. Um, so this session is going to focus all on Brentwood, mostly on Brentwood. I'm going to say a few things about Impetus before I pass the mic over uh, to Dennis. Um, but really what, we're gonna, what Dennis is going to share today is his journey in delivering next level data and insights, uh, data and analytics insights to their business, uh, Brentwood's business operations. Before I pass the mic over, uh, I'd like to just share a few things about Impetus. Um, you know, when, when I'm asked by somebody who's not familiar with our brand, you know, what we do, uh, I like to respond in kind of a silly, you know, little response in, in the most simplistic way that I like to describe Impetus is that we're extremely great at helping companies build data solutions. Um, that's what we've been doing forever. In fact, uh, 33 years ago, we started as a software company. Um, we've spun out five software products over the lifespan of our, of our existence. Um, and we really have kind of that product development DNA embedded in our organization. And we, we take that, that, uh, that product development uh, mindset and we've embedded that into our consulting practice. Um, and we've, meaning we've taken, uh, you know, we've developed accelerators and frameworks that will help our customers accelerate their journey, um, you know, their data and AI journeys. Um, so, you know, our business is structured in, uh, to help our customers in really three core ways. Um, one, the first is unification, helping them unify their data uh, estate and establishing a robust, governed, secure, scalable data infrastructure. Really the, the cornerstone of every data management, you know, data strategy. Uh, the second is modernization, helping them modernize their, oh, we got somebody new, welcome. <laughs> we, uh, we, we help them modernize their data state by uh, accelerating the, modern, uh, the migration of legacy data platforms as well as enterprise applications to cloud native infrastructures. Um, and lastly, what I like to call nirvana is really the innovation that we're bringing, helping them figure out and build solutions to monetize their data assets, um, develop data-driven products, and ultimately, you know, deliver AI at scale in a secure and responsible way. How do I move this? Okay. Uh, so naturally, that has uh, fostered a very strong partnership with Databricks. You know, I personally believe Databricks is the leader in data and AI technology. Um, we've built many brick builder solutions. Uh, uh, to help customers uh, adopt uh, and get immediate value from the platform. Um, I'm also proud to say that we've won Migration Partner of the Year for the second uh, year in a row. Um, I believe that that really is uh, what contributed to that is, you know, what I had mentioned before, it's kind of that product development mindset where we've created uh, an accelerator, it's called Leap Logic, that will allow customers to uh, accelerate their migration to the Databricks platform. So the best way that I like to explain Leap Logic is think of it as two parts. It's a proven migration methodology coupled with a technology accelerator. That technology accelerator uses AI to understand the patterns that exist within legacy code base and uh, match those patterns to the best practices and capabilities of Databricks, and then it will do an intelligent rewrite of that code. So obviously by, making, by doing that happen, the majority of the effort in these migrations is rewriting that business logic to be native to that, that target platform that you're going to. So by automating that process and using AI to solve the problem, it's drastically reducing the time to market, obviously costs, 
um, and uh, you know, getting you from point A to point B much faster. Enough about impetus. Uh, I know I like to talk a lot, and I could talk all day about our company. Um, these are my two children, uh, and uh, they don't know who Brentwood is. Um, the name Brentwood, to me, is synonymous with family. Um, my children may not know uh, what Brentwood does, but they know that when they hear the word Brentwood, it means wheelbarrow rides in the backyard. Um, in full disclosure, there have been more children in this wheelbarrow than there has been dirt. Um, but, uh, you know, and I, I know that, the, I hope somebody's snapping a picture because they're going to be very excited that I included them in this presentation. Uh, but the, Brentwood is a family owned business. Um, they're headquartered in Reading, PA. They've been in business for almost 60 years under the leadership of the Rye family. The Rye family is on its third generation CEO that just recently has taken the reins. Um, the core competency of their business is processing plastics and using plastic materials in innovative ways. What does that mean? Well, their products help power, get power to areas that don't have power. Their products help treat people's drinking water. Their products provide packaging for critical medical devices. Um, they have also been known to make a wheelbarrow or two. Uh, so without further ado, Please welcome my friend, Dennis Reed, Global Head of Technology at Brentwood Industries. Thank you, Matt. And before I get started, I have to offer another set of congratulations because Impetus was named Global Migration Partner of the Year for this year from Databricks. So congratulations to Impetus on that. So thanks for the opportunity to speak to you today about our data renaissance. Um, with Databricks and Impetus. I chose, as the title of this session, I chose um, embarking on, this, on the uh, title to represent this rebirth or cultural rebirth of data at Brentwood. Um, the business objectives that you see here uh, align with our overall vision and strategy for Brentwood, ensuring a strategic approach to achieving our business goals. They leverage the strengths of both Impetus and Databricks, focusing on the technological innovation, data security, financial efficiency, and a fostering of culture and agility across Brentwood. We needed a significant change in our technology uh, and organizational structure to update and enhance our reporting and analytics capabilities. That would be to support and complement our IT business transformation strategy that includes a re-implementation of SightLine, uh, our ERP system. Um, so in conjunction with a complete rewrite or restart of our data reporting and uh, analytics platform, we'll also, we are also in the midst of a three-year massive ERP re-implementation in the cloud. So another critical objective is to improve our reporting uh, integrity and quality, empowering the business and IT teams to utilize data effectively in their strategic planning and operational efficiency. It also includes access management, providing the right data to the right people based on their personas and need uh, of the data. Um, to do that, we'll be optimizing uh, our investment with Databricks and with uh, Impetus to uh, align our business objectives to uh, foster that innovation and technical excellence. And finally, uh, driving um, customer obsession and inclusion through engagement with our end users, our stakeholders, sponsors, customers, and, uh, and vendors to enhance our data analytics capabilities that will enable us to expand our market reach and increase business impact. So our technical objectives, uh, first, we're going to start out um, uh, establishing a robust Azure Databricks platform that will provide the business with that comprehensive data management. The analytics um, will also enable that AI model development for the future and streamline and, and uh, make our data operations more effective and efficient. Additionally, as I mentioned, all the preparation for our SightLine implementation in the cloud um, within four, 
as well as uh, including SAP data uh, from our recent acquisition of the Annexio Water Technologies Group. Um, and then transferring decades of old data uh, from uh, an older architecture and technology or data warehouse as we would like to call it um, over to the, da the Databricks platform. Um, next was fortifying our development processes. Um, I'll talk about it a little later, but uh, we really had no control from an IT perspective on any of our reporting. Um, from an IT, from an IT controls and, and standards perspective. Most of that was occurring directly with the business, writing reports, little to no validation of that data, um, and deploying those reports to end users and production users. Um, so some of the, our technical objectives here will be to make sure that we include the uh, CICD processes, getting reports from design through deploy, in a more formal process using Azure DevOps. Um, we'll complete our infrastructure setups, uh, as this is brand new to, to Brentwood. We've got all of the, the Databricks setup, Azure Data Factory setups, um, storage, security, um, backups, disaster recovery, et cetera. So. And then finally, uh, the implementation of zero trust network security and guardrails. So all of those technical um, identity access management, systems for cross-domain uh, cross identity management, RBAC, and privileged identity management as well. Moving on to um, our challenges. Um, our biggest challenge is to unwind that decade or more <laughs> of business managed reporting functions, right? We needed to understand hundreds of ETLs with transformations, calculations, with limited or no documentation. On top of that, there were Power BI reports that contain all those same transformations, calculations, et cetera, at the department and functional level um, that created this inconsistent cross-functional dilemma for us. So, um, Two sets of highly customized things done both in the data, uh, sorry, in the ETL extraction pipelines as well as in the Power BI reports that created um, or has created quite, uh, quite a complex environment for us to unwind. So prior to my arrival uh, at Brentwood in May of 2022, um, a dedicated integration and architecture function did not exist within the IT organization that would have helped to align us on a lot of these IT and business strategies, establish the standards, and ensure consistent delivery of the technology um, to the rest of the company. The lack of a project management office and a data quality function also contributed uh, to that challenge in delivering solutions to the business in a timely manner. Um, development, operations, and support misalignment, um, typical in most IT shops, Infrastructure blames uh, uh, applications, applications blames network. Um, so a little bit of misalignment across those areas as well that we, uh, that we also addressed. And then finally, um, a, a big component here was the technical debt that existed in Brentwood. Um, lots of old end of life hardware, end of support software. Um, multiple, that lead to multiple outages, ETL failures, missed SLAs, <clears throat> and then inconsistent, just overall inconsistent um, management of the reporting environment. So, the solution um, will incorporate the components listed here and represents a significant step toward uh, Brentwood's journey to overcome our reporting challenges. The first is the migration of the SiteLine 8 data, that is on-premise data today, uh, in a SQL 2008 database, um, and it will include um, the proper schedules, monitoring, error handling, proactive um, alerts, uh, as well as the deployment of Unity Catalog across the, all the environments that will help us for onboarding additional data pipelines in the future. Um, then we'll leverage one of uh, our salesperson performance use case reports. Um, that kicked all of this uh, initiative off to validate the environment, the data, 
and confirm our CI CD processes are actually working as we expected. And then we'll finalize all of those security and access controls around PIM, RBAC, um, et cetera. Um, some of the expected results in cost savings include streamlining and, and design to deploy the processes, um, enhancing our data quality, and providing a single source of truth to our end users. Um, we also have led a number of, in, in coordination with both Impetus and Databricks, a number of strategic planning and workshop sessions, uh, a day in the uh, day of data with the Databricks team, and then a lot of our labs that we'll talk about with Impetus here um, in just a minute. So here's, uh, here's the architecture we, uh, we landed with, um, working both with Databricks and Impetus. Uh, data from various sources, uh, which I already mentioned, SiteLine 8, SiteLine 10, SAP data, um, as well as the others that have already been identified are included uh, in, our, in our sources list. Most of those will initially be ingested using uh, Azure Data Factory uh, with pipelines, um, and uh, we'll, we'll move those into, into that landing zone. From there, we'll uh, have our scheduled workflow, uh, processing and publishing that data through the Databricks environment along with the Unity catalog and moving them through the, uh, the bronze, silver, and gold layers. Um, Azure Managed Resources will be used to set up key vault policies, monitoring, and alerts. Um, and then again, on the Unity catalog, um, we'll have that comprehensive view of all of our data with its lineage um, and I'd be able to identify data dependencies as we move forward, which is huge for us because as I mentioned, those. 10 years or so of manual ETL pipelines and extractions, had little or no documentation and no tools to support um, laying out that lineage for the, for the organization. So uh, phase one, which we're currently underway uh, with, with Impetus, is to deliver that development test and prod environment uh, for, for the Databricks environment using the medallion architecture that we just uh, reviewed. Next is deploying all of the um, Azure uh, workspaces, Unity catalogs, vaults, um, and the user um, security, uh, security processes as well. So the, the, um, the one I missed was multi-factor authentication is also included in all of our security controls. Um, and then um, from there, moving into the testing and validation for all of those environments, right? So um, we started off moving everything into the landing zone, got everything into that bronze layer in the as-is kind of format, and from there, now we will begin to augment and enhance that data, curate it to the point where it can be um, uh, moved into the gold layer and available for all of our, uh, all of our Databricks users to consume. So a little bit about um, our journey. Uh, it started with a full review of the current environment and an awareness, to the, an awareness that the current solution was not viable for Brentwood as we move forward. The, this phase identified both technical and business issues that included uh, a lack of quality data, uncontrolled deployment of reports with that little or no validation, uh, along with failed pipelines and no proactive monitoring of any of those environments. In the discovery phase, or discovery uh, area, we took some deeper dives into that technology and identified a critical need to define a new approach for our reporting and analytics platform. Our internal team began assessing solutions and engaged with both Microsoft and Databricks from there, we collaborated uh, for a series of demos and reviews with Databricks, um, and uh, ultimately ended up identifying Impetus as our Kickstarter initiative uh, to, to get going with, uh, with this solution. After a successful um, design and build lab with Impetus, we had concluded that Databricks was the right solution for, for Brentwood. Our release of this environment is actually scheduled for this Friday. Woohoo! It's been a few months in the making, um, and we're very excited to release this uh, beta version, in essence, of um, the Databricks environment to, to our end users. Uh, 
While we wrap up a number of the CICD processes in preparation for being able to deploy uh, reports uh, to production. Um, we plan to leverage some of uh, Impetus's other solutions, um, like LeapLogic that uh, Matt took some time to explain to us. Um, there are a number of reports uh, in our environment, probably hundreds, to be honest, um, hundreds of reports in Power BI that we need to assess and determine whether or not we want to move those forward. And I believe that LeapLogic will help us to, to figure those out and identify those that we want to move forward with. And then future state, um, this opens up a world of opportunity for us, both in uh, things like IoT for all of our manufacturing equipment on the floor, collecting that data, um, being able to do proactive plant maintenance uh, off of that data, um, machine learning and AI capabilities, um, data sharing with downstream applications, although we'd like to think that uh, Sightline would be our single source for everything. We will have some supporting systems and integrations where we'll need to uh, move data and aggregate data, and I believe that we can leverage the Databricks platform to do that. And then finally, um, some API uh, development as well, or API enablement using these tools uh, as well. And then with the recent announcement this morning, AIBI um, is definitely now on the, on the table as well for us in the future. So quickly, to, um, to summarize all of this, it was an exciting, challenging, um, and rewarding initiative to get us to where we, uh, to where we are um, with the partnership between both uh, Databricks and Impetus to help us get there. So with that, I thought I'd share a few learnings with you. Um, from my perspective, first and foremost, choose the right partner, right? Spend the time and the effort to truly assess your current environment determine your needs, talk to your customers, peers, counterparts, and understand what challenges and issues they're facing today. Um, and then leverage them um, to make sure that they're, uh, they're a right fit. Um, choose, a use, uh, um, choose a use case, pick a report, pick a process that, uh, that is critical to your business function, and uh, execute that use case with, that tool, with those tools and technologies um, most of those uh, use case assessments can be done in 60, 30, 60 days. Um, and that'll just help you to confirm you know, that, that, your, that your solution will, will fit um, to, to those, both of those use cases and um, to all the, the needs and the requirements of your end users. Um, align with all your stakeholders. Get cross-functional and, and um, agreement and support from everyone. Um, as, as, as you move forward with, in the process. And then last but not least, and probably the most important, communicate. Um, can't stress it enough. Provide updates on the initiative, proper training, uh, find early adopters um, of, the, uh, of, the, of the solution, and uh, encourage feedback, um, as well as establishing a cadence with, um, uh, with, with the senior leadership team, with all of your end users to monitor your progress and success. So with that, uh, I'll turn it back over to Matt for some additional remarks and Q&A. Dennis, uh, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, it's really been an honor to work with you over, and, and I mean, just to see how quickly you guys have gotten to from where you were to where you are now. I mean, it's it's mind blowing how night, how much of a day. change that is. Um, you know, when I when I think about you know what we've done and how we've helped you with this, like I really I really just think of us as kind of the catalyst to help you get jump started. Like when I first met you and the rest of the Brentwood team, um, you had you knew what your problems were. Um, you had an idea of how you needed to fix the what you needed to do to fix those problems. Um, you just kind of needed a little bit of a jump start or a kick start on how do we go about doing this. Um, and that's what we brought to the table for you, that, that, uh, that framework. Uh, it's our data and AI lab framework. Um, the objective of this framework is really to do exactly what we did with Brentwood. It's to take a problem or a use case, design a technical solution for that, 
and then validate that with a real a business a example that provides real business value in a very quick amount of time so that you're able to justify the value to your business uh, with a real life example and then have something that's not just throw away afterwards that it can be easily brought to production. And I think that, you know, that framework was instrumental in helping you guys get to where you're at now. And, you know, I think, you know, uh, it, it really just w worked. Um, and uh, it's been an honor to work with you. And thank you for entrusting us to, uh, to be your partner on Absolutely. this. Absolutely. We're, we're, uh, we're extremely grateful for the relationship and uh, excited to where the future will take us. So, With that, Thank you all very, very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you.